Hey everybody, hey Majulov here. We are the Vasquez family and in today's video we are going to be continuing our Obi-Wan Kenobi journey with part three. The first two episodes for the premiere were fantastic mm -hmm. and spectacular. It was such a dream come true and we are loving the journey so far. Uh, Obi-Wan received some crazy news for him in the last episode or rather maybe confirming something he wished was not true. Uh, but anyway, we're ready to jump into the next episode. There's definitely kind of ended sort of on a cliffhanger where we want to know what happens next. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump on in. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you guys enjoy our reaction. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you guys can become part of the Magula family uh, as an official producer. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned to the very end of this video to find out how. But besides that, let's do this thing. Part mm. three. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. He's been looking for you? Dude, the suit up, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> his, his castle on Mustafar. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man. I have been watching you, the sister. Oh my gosh, James Earl Jones. Fail me, and you will not live to regret it. Oh, that's good. Mm. She won't live then, because either either the Grand Inquisitor we saw lives. Or the new one gets reinstated for Rebels. Yeah. Dude, that was... That was crazy. He looks so good. <laughs> She's so great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, man. We better get ready. We're on approach. I like the music, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. It's good music. Oh, yeah. Coordinates say the meeting point is further north. Mm. Oh, that's not creepy at all. He's having visions. <sighs> <laughs> Dude, it's so weird seeing him again. <laughs> How do you think Ben feels? That's a highly problematic tank. <laughs> yeah. Looks like One crack in the whole thing. It looks like an aquarium. <laughs> the stormtroopers on their break. Oh, look at them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, our favorite droids, Pops. Yeah. Oh, that's how they launch them? That's aggressive. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Wow. Pesky things. Yeah, the ones in Empire Strikes Back that's mm. dragged out. This is where he told us to come to. Maybe it was a lie. I knew it. I never should have trusted him. We don't know if maybe... No one is coming here, Leia. What are you doing? Maybe they can give us a ride into spaceport. It's <laughs> not safe. I, I'm Luna. This is my, my father. This is my father. <laughs> <laughs> We're farmers. Orden. <laughs> <laughs> We've walked long enough. Frick. Frick. No, it's Freck. Freck. His name is Freck. Like Babu Frick, but it's Freck. Freck. <laughs> Listen to the Empire. Absolutely. We love the Empire. They know who. He Wait. Depends. Yeah. I don't know. They know. do. There's a lot of them now. Oh my that god. My god. He is no joke, dude. <laughs> Look, one scene right is next to us. Now, hold on, I always do. These guys. They're man. brilliant. Yeah, they're, they're so are. smart. Stormtroopers. They have really good aim, too. 
<laughs> I might run a bind. Looking for a Jedi. Oh, don't trip Wonder in there. Wonder where he is. <laughs> How well can they view us this? I see my mother's face. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. He's not lying. Mm -hmm. We all miss her very much. What? You know her. I know mother, don't you? Hmm. Just a story. Do you like me or father? Mmm. <laughs> I wish I could say I was. But no, I'm not. It was like long lightsabers. <laughs> yeah. She's getting ready. Oh, she's wearing the green. It reminds mm -hmm. me of when she's on Endor. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> oh, these oh, man. Cannot stand these stinking probes. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, these guys. Oh, man. I told you, three lightsabers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Obi Wan. Yeah, he's yes. so great. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's a reason why he survives to be an old man. Han Solo it. <laughs> yeah, just Han Solo it. Can he take the car? Oh, come on. Oh dear. No. <laughs> She's, so She's so cute, <laughs> man. What? Come on. I'll take you the rest of the way. Whoa. That's the friend. Yep. Oh. Probably. Probably, yeah. We'll make it out. He's a really good guy. He don't mean to run me. He used to do it all the time. And it was just for fun. It was your fault, Leia. Hmm. The character building. Yeah, man. That's a cool robot. Mm -hmm. Some call it the path. Hmm. You're not the first Jedi to come through here. They hmm. all leave for Javin. From there we give them new identities and, and get them out. Quinlan was here? Yeah, he helped me one day. Smuggling younglings. But they're on the other side. It gives me a faster draw. Can you teach me how to talk? Later. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what she learns how to because she has good aim. Yeah. It's just Ben these days. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ben? What is it? He said Susan or something. What's going on? I don't know. The Maybe force. Maybe Anakin's there. The Inquisitors. And Vader? Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Oh my goodness. He's there. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mm. 
Oh. No way. Are we seeing this right now? <laughs> <laughs> what have you become? I am what you made me. This episode's gonna end in like the worst spot. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna find the path. Passage, yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Gosh, she's like, she's like Batman. <laughs> oh my, yeah. shows up anywhere. Dude, this, this is, is crazy. this is insane. <laughs> this is incredible. Bring him back. Yeah, Obi Wan's out of shape, man. Makes sense though. Yeah. You saw he snapped that kid's oh. neck, dude. He's surviving. Is this girl going back? <laughs> She's smart. She's very smart. She's just on the wrong side. Wrong <laughs> mm -hmm. well side. <laughs> oh, what is her story? I know. What is that? She's one of the younglings, obviously. She's gotta be. From the first episode. Mm -hmm. Dude. I'm trying to do the same thing. Thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's the loudest silence. No, we'll never find him. He's an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> His arm, dude. Surprised by that. Dang, man. Oh, man. Told you it's the climax. <laughs> this is Star Wars for me. This is everything. This this whole. I mean, I just you. I can't get past. I'm looking through Obi Wan's oh, eyes, yeah. and he's looking at this machine thing, and he just there's so much confusion because he feels still the presence of Anakin. His friend, his brother, his... Uh, I mean, goodness, what... Are you, you, I completely understand why you can't even fight this thing. Plus, he's just not physically apt for it, and... Oh, it's just so... Yeah, I mean... Gut-wrenching, all of it. It's so good. There's oh, man, conflict just, in him still. Did, yeah. I mean, there is till the end. It's like he wants him to feel the same pain, but he doesn't want to kill him. Well, I don't know. I Because until the girl interrupted him, he was probably going to keep keep going. It's just just to see them again on the same screen, like those two characters, and and to see where it's going to continue to progress. I mean, we only have we're halfway through now. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously Leia's going to make it. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of how. Reva, we still don't know enough about her. She continues to be that. She was a Jedi though. Pain, yeah, one. but um, yeah. but no, it's ah oh, man, the tension. I mean, just Vader searching out that whole little strip in that town was terrifying. I mean, he is the amount of anger and and power he has but to actually see it like we i feel like it, we're really yeah. seeing it now mm -hmm. which is i think really great well in live action i think to build that in live action right because we've seen it in video games and comics and such and right and in rebels a little bit even but right but not to this extent in live action so <laughs> i wonder if reva there's a, some conflict there too i think when she saw the tunnels i mean she used to be we think a youngling right maybe or she's like 
force sensitive. She has a force. So right. um, I'm sure there's a conflict there of which side to be on. I mean, right now we think she's all Vader, but maybe there's more to that. I, I do feel like, I don't know, her journey with Leia might change things. Yeah, maybe Leia sure. will get into her head in a mm. good way. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> Leia has the upper hand. She is mm-hmm. very wise I, for I her like age. She really is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Leia for a little bit. Can yeah, we? Yeah. Dude, she's incredible. She's fantastic. Mm-hmm. When really... she was when she was talking to Obi Wan on the the freighter, I guess you could, you could call it. The way she was speaking softly and just like right there with him reminded me of when Leia's talking to Luke on Endor. Like mm-hmm. it just had such an essence. Like I think they 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 were spot on with the casting. I think the beauty it's... of this this show is that in the trailers we saw Luke. Right, and we saw Obi Wan, and but the secret like gem of this series has been Leia. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the journey with Leia. Yeah. I mean, we're on episode three, and it's been all Leia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And his journey of bringing, you know, saving her, and you know, I wasn't expecting that. That was yeah. like a sweet surprise because I don't think we saw her at all in the trailers. Mm-hmm. No. She was like a surprise, you know. For sure. Well, yeah. it's about time too. I mean, with Luke, we get more, and you know, in a new hope. Well, we got so. him in Mandalorian mm. as well. Yeah, but like, where's Leia? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And Luke came to my mind when little Leia here asked Ben about the Force, and he essentially starts teaching her, right, without meaning to or wanting to. And I don't know if you guys heard the line. Tala says she'd make a great fighter, and then Ben <laughs> says, "Yeah, I think she would. I think he's. I think he's very, very suspicious that she is Force sensitive because she's just so aware. She's so connected to every living thing." even droids and man it's just her performance she it's so wonderful because as as a little kid you you watch this little girl work just exist in this world and and you just believe it because she's she believes it so yeah so well spoken and i think it brings out a part of of obi-wan that he's not ready to deal with and then you mix that with all of a sudden the gut punch when (laughs) darth vader shows up I also be- I think Darth Vader also probably senses the presence of Leia and something stirred within. The- but- he may not know what it is. Yeah. I don't think he has a clue. Because I think he, he would have killed Obi-Wan. <clears throat> yeah. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. I think he was going to, but I, I don't know. There's, there's definitely... A motive, lot to explore there. Motive there, yeah. If, in, if nothing else, he senses a the reason to keep Obi-Wan alive. Died. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Obi-Wan knows something. And so that's why maybe, I mean, I was confused mm-hmm. when he extinguished the fire and then continued just burning him alive. Right. So it's it's that intuition that, wait, I sense something. Obi-Wan knows something. I can't mm-hmm. kill him yet. So yeah, it's not that he's, he's necessarily doing it for a good reason. Right, right. He's just like, well, no, maybe he needs to stay alive because he yeah. knows something I don't know. Right. And that is Leia. And, well, Luke, but <laughs> only yeah, Obi-Wan man. knows that. Ah, man. And Luke's dad made it very clear. How about... <laughs> How about that moment when she looks at him and says, "Are you my real father?" Oh my god, dude! I mean, she was cool. She's so. I know. That's like his uncle. <laughs> He's like, I wish I was. Yeah, no, it's... that's her uncle. Yeah, possibly. So sad. And that Obi Wan had a brother. Yes. Yeah. Like. That's yeah. A that... Curveball right yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe people more know this from reading. Well, I think just learning more about his history. Yeah, like before yeah. he became a Jedi. Yeah. So something I I, I um. Unfortunately, unfortunately, and a lot of fans will agree with me on this, that I can't help do uh, because of the way we've been fed these stories. And it's far-fetched now. I don't think they're going to try to repair any of what was done. But, you know, there was a little connection there with Tala and Obi-Wan. And uh, part of me was starting to hope that maybe somewhere down the line in this (laughs) era, Obi-Wan is inspired by little Leia to maybe maybe someday I should have a little offspring of myself. That would um, be cool. You know, Tala seems like a good candidate. <laughs> right. Um, maybe she's Ray's mom. I don't need them to connect it, and I'm not speculating that they will connect it. But to me, as a story, it helps me to find peace with certain holes that Correct. I saw Correct. in Ray's story. Well, it doesn't so. mean this is going to connect, but I do feel like, okay, that makes more sense. It, it re- reassures me of things I saw in that movie that I was like, what does that mean? Like, yeah. It heals yeah. those parts of me that were kind of like left... Yes. What the heck? Yeah, I mean, in the mm-hmm. other movies. But this is um, also before yeah, the yeah, original I, trilogy, and then before next ones. So I don't know. It, it, it is. I I'm I'm with you 100 percent there, love. I do think there's a potential just to kind of give um, some of the lore a little bit more credibility with these details about they used to gather children for the Jedi, and now the Empire, Darth Vader, is gathering Force-sensitive children for what weird reason? 
well, we can see in the third sister the possibility of that. Yeah. So yes, that could be something that well, they either that die they or they continue. become they either die or become inquisitive. Right. Well, they have to decide. They have to choose. Right. You either um, choose the light or the dark or die, which is pretty grim. I mean, quite frankly, all all in all, the the show is is haunting in the sense that the third sister right now is someone who, like you, Jemmy, I'm I can't help especially when she was looking at the wall and we see the sign, the way she reacted to it. Yeah, it conf I think it confirms that she indeed has a, a very deep connection to the Jedi and they she feels angry, betrayed. She kind of a, a little bit reminded me of um, Ahsoka in Clone Wars. She's just left on her own and abandoned by every everyone. At least she feels that way. And yeah. even Anakin didn't really stand by her. At least that's how she felt. I don't know. There's still a lot that has to be explored in her character. Yeah, agreed. Um, agreed. And yeah, I mean, I think... But also them, like, searching for Force-sensitive people also has to do more with, like, Ezra and other... Right. Like, also... Ezra, Jedi Fallen Order, like, the Jedi holocrons, Order, finding right. these Force-sensitive children. The time before Luke yeah, and it, Leia start to grow up and defeat the Empire. Yeah, but I'm just loving how they're enhancing and, and, and enriching what we already have, yeah. um, for sure. The, you know, the gap between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And I just, I can't wait to see, we all can't wait to see what happens next week as we continue mm -hmm. um, but I have a feeling even next week maybe a lot will happen kind of like in Moon Knight I feel like a lot will happen in every episode yeah but anyway guys what an episode if you want to hear your yes. thoughts down below in the comments what you guys thought of this uh, episode of this this part part three and how you felt seeing Vader Vader in the the flesh and his in his glory I mean it was horrible he's, he's terrifying but in his prime glory um what you know for those Vader's <laughs> fans out there how that was I mean Obi Wan didn't do that well fighting, but they their their lightsabers um, made contact. Uh, there was definitely <laughs> some light dueling there, um, and it may lead to one more battle before the show ends. I I, mm -hmm. I highly think that. I think Obi Wan has to go through a journey of facing his past. Perhaps Qui Gon will help him with that, and and then from there he'll be able to face face Vader, and maybe that'll make Vader kind of chill out until they meet in a new hope. But um, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? But it's, it's fantastic. So let us know in the comments what you thought. We'd love to connect with all of you down there in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys can check out, again, like we were saying earlier, uh, more Magilive content, more exclusive Magilive content with the link down below in the description or with this card up above where you guys, by, by supporting us more monthly, by becoming an official producer of Magilive, you guys can uh, help us create more. You guys will have access to exclusive Magilive content as well as help us uh, help fund Imaginative creative content that we are currently in the process of creating as a family of, of actors and artists in the TV and film industry. We have a lot of ideas and, and, and projects that we are currently developing and very optimistically hoping to share with all of you. Mm -hmm. So uh, just stay tuned for that. So if it's something you're interested in, you guys can check that out. But regardless, you guys being here today means a lot to us. And we're so glad that we got to experience this episode with all of you. And with that, go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next Imaginative video. Have a Imaginative day. Bye. Bye. Bye.